So of course, record for 14 hours and not have any audio, not have any playback. Thank you so much. So yes, I, um, I'm explaining right here that I put on pasty so I couldn't record me doing the lining and everything and for it to dry out, you know, cause I'm doing like three coats of this thin formula. Um, I had to apply it while having pasties on, so while waiting, I also drew my, around my body where I'm going to put um, most of the stuff. Oh my god. So this EBA performance in Prime Black is very very thin compared to the Pale Dead. Um, in the future, I'll find out that the Pale Dead do flake on me, you know, since it's so thick and since I need a thick layer to cover my skin, so that's in the future. Um, I'm explaining that I put the black in these spaces because it cr it won't crease since it's so thin compared to the other one. Now I could have thinned it out with water, but it wouldn't work on my skin. And the same with the black, there's no way to thicken it up. I even left it out to dry and it didn't work. Um, this is the best coating I could get without it, um, without it making splotches and empty spaces. So I finish it up with some of that powder, uh, what's it called, the, I finished it up with the morph give me space to, um, to seal it. Oh, how I put the pasties on, um, I did a use a mixture of latex as the first base so I could get it off, um, as easily as I could get it, and I also used some of the, the glue I had, one the, the prose glue. Um, with a tiny brush to seal the ends and to make it as smooth as I possibly can. Um, I made this, these pasties, since I ordered two different orders of pasties and it never came. Um, so I put some, so I put some cotton over some, some candle holders and then I put latex over it. I cover it about eight times until it dried. And yeah, that's the picture. <laughs> and the pasties work pretty well, I guess. You know, you don't see any nippleage. So I covered some spaces with the Stormy Cloud Maron, Maron Paradise paints. And then I separated with the same um, Prime Black. Now I learned that you can't put this Prime Black over any other color without it picking up color. <sighs> which would have worked so well, but it doesn't, so I can't make any detailed lines with it. So I just made the lines so I could separate all the grays I'm going to put in my body. Even though it's like liquidy, at least it turns into a nice dark gray so I can know where all my parts are. So here's my first coat, my only coat actually, of the Pale Dead, um, EBA Performance Pale Dead airbrush thingy. It was very, very, very thick inconsistency and I also covered it parts you see how the the lines look with the other prime black from EBA you know I couldn't do that with anything else or it have been like smudgy and I couldn't do it with the liner because the liner couldn't pick up on top of most of the, the face paints it will just kind of pick up the face paint under it the face paints love to go up with anything that's liquidy so here are my first lines Oh my god, I can't believe I had to explain this again. Alright, so I used the um, the HD Liner 21, which is brown. Oh no, wait. Okay, is that the brown one? Yeah, it's yeah, it's the 21 in brown. So I can make the circular kind of bone end things or whatever. I, I didn't make it into bones because that would have been too much... Um, you know, since it's a small space, it would have been too much complication and then it would have come out muddy. I didn't want it to be muddy. I don't mind the arm on the other side. I think I explained it later. I had to lip read what I said. But yeah, here I'm drawing the line so I could shadow around it so I could know where to stop. Also, the Maron paints work brilliantly over any of the EBA paints. <laughs> it, it worked perfect. It didn't pick up any of the EBA paints like how the EBA paints pick up all the other paints. Oh god, I wish I knew. <laughs> I, I opened the Pale Dead first thinking, oh, everything's gonna be thick, and nope, it wasn't. You know, which is, should be expected since it's like airbrush, but god, I wish they were either both the same consistency, so I, no. 
than that. No, if it was both to consistency, then I would have like, I wouldn't get the crack. Look, the crack is already starting. I didn't even do anything to it. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't notice until later. So here I'm using the Sugar Pill, um, Sugar Pill lip Lipstick in Zero to make the nice smooth um, shady lines and then I shade it up. I remember shading up with the Give Me Space and by itself sometimes as well um, to give that metallic or dirty look. And I didn't want it to be too shiny metallic because, you know, her armor is kind of very old and it was kind of rusty looking. It, it was rusty. It kind of got like that rust look. Um, that's why I got the lipstick, um, um, LA Splash Guadalupe for, for that rust, that rust shiny feeling. <laughs> okay, where am I now? I think this is where I'm shading up would give me space. Um, a little bit, I kind of like pat it on to the sugar pill, wipe off my brush and then blend up. I, you can't, of course you can't see it. I was so into it. I think this was like around the five hour mark. The sun is almost gone. <laughs> I didn't know how far, how close. I spent a long time on the armor part. I definitely did because I wanted to get the armor out of the way because the face would have been easy. And, um, you know, when sitting down, I was afraid of it creasing, but it didn't crease at all for some reason. Um, the Stormy Cloud does coat in one coat on me so I guess that's why I don't I never have to do two coats unless it's detail um, but <laughs> with that pale dead Jesus Christ uh, it's the only thing that gave me problems but you know it worked it actually worked because she had that old scaly skin and I was gonna do that with wrinkles but for some reason um it looked better with the crust you know it make it made you look more dead and more dusty so it worked actually the pale dead worked with this flakiness and I think I would actually do that for like a cosplay for like Kratos or something since he have ash on his skin you know from his dead family no one needs to know that um, <laughs> um but yeah I think I could use this with Kratos oh, if it was more gray I don't know, I'll still use it I was I would kind of buff it on and make it flake um, I, I had to show you a different side of it so you could see what I was talking about. I patted on and then I kind of blend it up. <laughs> I wipe it off and then blend it up so it won't be too harsh when blended. So for the Morph Toasted Hazelnut, um, since I knew it was going to be kind of like bronzy or you know not too metally, I got that to blend this up also. I got it for my flaky skin to blend with the 21 Krylon HD liner um, to make the wrinkles more, you know, uh, more shaded, you know, not to one dimensional. So I wanted to for two different things. And here I'm just blending it up with the Give Me Space into the Miron Stormy Cloud liner thingy. <laughs> So here I'm showing that I used the Ben Nye um, Super White Setting Powder, you know, face setting powder, to make um, glorious gleams of shiny armor. <laughs> um, I just kind of, you know, how you reverse contour um, on your cheeks. I kind of did that, but on, you know, the blueberry, and I also did that with the armor when I finished with it, um, so it could give that shiny texture all the way down. And here is where I'm adding Guadalupe um, for that shiny, rusty, whatever, bronzy. I think it's more bronzy than rusty. Um, on top of most of the um, toasted hazelnut, um, later on I had to like open up <laughs> the whole lip lippy and um, use a brush because this was rubbing off everything. As usual with face paints. So here I'm happily like moving along. Um, I did the belt part. You know, I was excited for the belt part, and oh god, it's one of my favorite blends in this whole thing. After I figure out what to do, um, so for the shadows and everything to make it more black. Um, thank God I got the stormy white. <laughs> I mean, black would have worked, but 
Um, I wouldn't have the highlights and shadows I would have had here. I was counting on the sugar pill, which kind of broke later on. So I'm filling in the shadows and I'm blending them out and then setting them the same way how I did um, on my boob with the um, with the gimme space and then blending it out later on. Um, here's where I used a deep black Krylon HD liner. Oh um, boy, I, I tried to use it a lot of times and it wouldn't pick up so I kind of pressed it on the side and it worked perfectly. I can't use the tip at all. I also dipped it in some water and then rub it on the palette and then use it because it was it did not like face paints at all. Oh, so here I'm like, yay! I'm finally I finally could get lines out of this thing. I tried. You can see I tried on my arm, and it, it eh, it's all right. You know, it's not the blend that I want. It's it's all right, but it's the darkest color I have. It's literally the darkest color. The sugar pill I thought was going to be darker. It's the darkest. It's kind of gray, and um. The other black, you definitely can't use it for lining, so this is the darkest color I have, and I use it for mostly my belt to separate. Um, I forgot where else I use it. I hope I record where I used it. I was counting on the video having audio, okay? Wow, it's amazing getting instant gratification. <laughs> I was sitting there for so long, for 14 hours, and I thought I was never going to be done. And look at this, I got gratification. <laughs> instantly right now I didn't know it was in focus did I focus it I think I tried come on focus please just remember there you go yay so you can see what I did with the Guadalupe also you see those circular parts I use um an um, eye sponge no the the plunger that you could put your eye contacts with I use that to do the texture up there also oh look at that look at that blend look at that blend so happy I was so happy for it um so I use a stormy white um just you know, the stormy gray and white to do these highlights. Um, I was saving all the all the white for the highlights. You can see on my boobs. You can see the highlights um, where I put the the um, powder, the super white powder, setting powder, um, and then I put white on top of each kind of individual um, leg <laughs> or cage. I also um, did kind of squares of gray in between all the sugar pill and all the, the um, give me space in the belt and then I blend out the bottom so it's harsh on top so it will be nice and dark and then blend out the bottom and then I did a shorter version of that with white and then blend down into the gray that was my favorite that was my favorite blend of the whole thing <laughs> um, I also did my neck I can't believe I, I'm up to my neck by now it took so long to get to my neck but anyway, here's where I'm blending in the toasted oh, um, hazelnut. I also got a bigger brush and like kind of blended it more up into like my armpit and up and out. Um, and here is where I realized it was kind of cracking, which kind of looks pretty cool. Look at that. It looks kind of cool. Um, but then I realized that when I press, when I want to just blend the way how you usually blend, it kind of like flake off as well, <laughs> which sucks, which sucks. It would have been a nice freaking blend so I tried as best as I can also with my dark skin underneath it kind of looks like a blend as well so in a way in a really stupid way it worked I just wish it worked the way how it, I wanted it to work I also got some of the, um, the, the gray um, the TV crown paint in the middle I only put it in the middle um, because yeah here I am doing it good I thought it would have been brighter it I left it there, I didn't cover it over because it, it kind of gave the dead feeling in a way. Um, and also, I don't know, it, it just kind of looked good there, but I feel like it wouldn't look good on my shoulders or anywhere else. Uh, it also, it was cracking here the most, so I try to pick up as much as I can and I kind of set that with the green haze. Um, I, that's what I also bought the, got the green haze for too, because... Um, yellow was nowhere to be found <laughs> when picking choices so I got the green haze for that and yeah it, it blends straight into the skin it's just you can't see it in video or in pictures so I guess it was just a blend for blending sake so I, I used it later to blend some of the lines down 
Oh yeah, I also put some the same setting powder over here just to brighten it up a bit. And thank God she looks dusty. Thank God she didn't look radiant because this would not have worked. <laughs> but yeah, I set that same um, gray and to make it more ashy and bright. I also set it right back over it because I want it to be more, more in your face. I thought it was fading a bit. I also went over my collar. You know, I made that one line thing where you get a shine and it always goes straight down. So I curved on the belts, on the chest piece, over my collar, and down straight to the belts. Um, here I'm trying to shade with the toasted hazelnut. It wasn't cracking as much on my shoulders. Um, which goes into my theory of wherever it bends or moves the most, that's where it cracks the most. Well, it's not a theory, I'm just talking about like, how I started this. Um, with the black being by my elbows, on my neck, on my boobs, and um, where else did I put it? Oh, on my um, hips. Um, especially around the stomach part. Um, I put most of that from prime black where I bend the most. Too bad I couldn't put that around my armpits and stuff, but that's where you bend the most as well. Pause. Phil, why wouldn't you use the whole black on all the armor parts? Well, because using a bunch of those layers takes a while to dry. Because if you put too much, then it will be splotchy. Um, yeah, doing a bunch of layers of black I wanted to, but no, it did not work out. It would not work out. It would not work out at all. The reason it won't work out is because it's it's for an airbrush. With a brush, you're using pressure to layer over it. And yes, I try to use it with a sponge. Sponge is the same thing as a brush. It will pick up the product that's under it. I would I would stay in, been standing there for 24 hours. It would have took too long to dry. It doesn't layer as well as space gray. So it's best to start with space gray and highlight and darken it. Then start with a black that doesn't really cover well. And then highlighting only because there's... I don't have any darker colors. That's why I didn't use the black for all the armor parts. I just wanted to show how thick this <laughs> this is compared. Look at that pan. <laughs> I used it like acrylic pig, basically. Um, I shaded everything as much as I can, and now I'm going to use the same prime dead, pale dead, sorry, pale dead, to highlight my skin so extra highlight. I was already cracking so might as well just add more to cover up and to highlight with since I'm you know more shaded now and more I'm sorry for that mirror it's just it's just I needed to see the space you can see I did this yeah yeah actually this is a good idea that was a good idea that was a good idea the thing is it was picking up underneath as well but again thank god this is a dead look it just looked more dead when everything goes wrong on that skin so everything else on my body is like nice and shaded and here's like yeah just do anything you want and it will still look great because it's supposed to look dead and it's supposed to look disgusting and grimy um i thought the blood would have done that but nope it's the texture <laughs> that done that i'm gonna keep saying this the satisfaction of getting here only 17 minutes later is it 17? Yeah, 18 minutes later after that freaking 14 hours. You know, I wanted to get to my face so long. I wanted to do my face so long. I saved my face so I could, you know, you know, work towards something because the face is my favorite thing to do. I also did my other arm last because um, I was going to attach something to it. I didn't explain how I did the arm. I did the arm the same way how I did um, the boob parts or every other part. You know, put a Put the black, then set it with the give me space, um, and then um, for some parts I put white because you can't put gray. I put white and did that same shading. Usually, um, I did like a block of color and then blend out the lines, and I put some brown in there to make it more bronzy and blend it out. And then I put a line of white again to give more highlight. It just since it's more space, I get to do more things, and then I highlight where I need it to be highlighted. Um, so here, finally, get to use the Cryolan TV Paint. Sorry, the Cryolan TV Paint 
stick again um, in gray because it's not white. Um, I did block my eyebrows with the glow stick because I was afraid of the 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 prosade. It was really hard to take off last time, and I think I lost some eyebrows. Um, her eyes, eyebrows is like really mean, so I kind of reverse eyebrow. Everything's in reverse, reverse highlight, reverse contour, reverse eyebrow. <laughs> um, but yeah, this works. This is the best thing. My face is always going to be the best thing, but this is the best thing. I knew the plan for my face, definitely. Um, I knew I was going to use black for it. Even though it was three coats, it's still better than anything. I set it with the give me space to cover up as much splotches as I can. You can't do over three coats. This is the best I can do, even on my dark skin. Um, you can see I'm giving myself a contour because she has a really good contour. And blend it down. And then I blend that out. Here's a great time to tell you about Amanda, um, the attachment that I put on my arm later on. I made her with foil paper, just like my headpiece. Um, then I made the ribs out of clay, um, just like my headpiece. Then I cover her with latex and flour to give her some bulk. Um, you know, give some teeth later. You're going to see that later on. I mean, she's like a big re reveal. Um, all I did was use all the makeups that I, that was given to me to give her her inside glow, just like in the picture, to give her her skin texture. Um, I didn't even need to use the dead skin texture. I uh, the latex looked dead already, um, so I use the green haze and see through my eyes and perfect at Tiffany. Um, green haze for the top of her skin to give her a greenish looking skin, and the breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, which is the lightest one in the middle and to see through my eyes for the outer part and yeah, it gave her that inside glow. I also did that on my arm as well. So here I blended everything. On the top I blended the, uh, which one is it called? The see through my eyes, yeah, the blue to give her a nice, you know, metallic kind of blue, you know, texture going through. Uh, that was my favorite word. I love that. I love that so much. I couldn't use it anywhere else but the face and on Amanda, the snake, the skeletal snake. I also put some green haze in there as well. And I finally get to use the Sugar Pale Lumi. I was going to use it everywhere else again, but I want her face to be the most glamorous part of her. Here is I'm setting, you know, since I have a lot of powder, which is the, the not translucent, the Ben Nye setting powder to set my cheekbones, under my cheekbones, you know, the reverse, reverse contour, anywhere where it's white, definitely all in the middle. I set it with, and then I kind of mix some of the, uh, the see through my eyes on the top of my cheeks, on the top of everything, like on the outer corners of everything, except for my jawline. I finally get to use Lumi. I always use it around my eyes to give it more of a glow. Um, my image was to make her eyes glow out. That's why I pick all these blues and um, greens. And I thought the Lumi was going to be more blue, but I think on this color, it's more green, which is fine because I use the green haze as well behind it. I'm not sure if I recorded that because it was like a second thought. I was like, oh my god, the green haze will really good with this. I did this over my cupid's bow and on my forehead. Anywhere where it shines bright, especially on like a weird, it's not metal mask. It's, I don't know what texture or color is. Chrome, maybe? <laughs> but yeah, definitely. You, I, I just had fun here because finally I get here. Don't don't mind the, um, the lip gloss. I was just for moisturization, I use um, lip gloss for moisturization, but I took that off later and put sugar pill on, and then I set the highlights of that sugar pill, you know, because it's like highlighted on um, her lips originally with the Ben Nye powder. All right, finally get to see, you know, the skin. I kind of even love it more in video before. <laughs> I love it more in video. It's actually pretty cool. Oh my god, okay, that worked out. All right. Um here is Amanda. 
so um, I put the foil in some liquid latex and flour solution and then just stuck her in there let her stand and that's how it looks she's glowing on camera I'm using latex here there's no way I'm gonna rip off um, prosade I use prosade above the latex I think that's gonna be my new method you know so I can take off the prosade easier just one layer of latex and you're good oh god and she's I just want her to like glow on my skin I did the right on the other side as well and did the glow I put the I put the um, the TV Krylon TV spate. <laughs> Sorry, the Krylon TV. I'm not editing too much out. The Krylon TV paint stick, um, in in the gray. I wanted it in white, but it's in gray, and it worked perfectly well on on the red. I wanted some embellishments on my hand. You know, everything is gray on me. I wanted something very bright. I was gonna go for purple, but I was like, nah. You know her capes you know on her arms is red so I decided to do red and I wanted to glow out because she had these snakes that kind of well one snake that kind of glow, glow you know when you see it so I wanted my arms to glow like she summons her snake from her arms and her arms is like bloody because you know uh, that's where her power come from you know when she I read her story when she takes souls you know that's the part where her snake comes out of and she harvests the blood, something like that. I wanted, I wanted some kind of other black story because I didn't get that much story from it. Yeah, she didn't really. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for this. Oh, it's Amanda. Oh, I tried it late as crazy. Like I was so tired, but I was like, you know, I'm getting this edge as smooth as I can, and um, I put a bunch of blood over it because I, I don't know. She didn't have any blood because she's dead. You know, she's from the grave. There's no such thing as blood around. But she still souls, and maybe her snake does it. And this is where the snake comes from, and this is where the snake gives her food. You know, under her armor. She's like bloody under this part of the armor, and <laughs> uh, maybe this is how she feeds feeds the soul, the bloody souls. I don't know. I had some kind of stupid story over it. Oh, it kind of looks like it's coming out. I definitely do cover it. But yeah. Oh, I didn't really <laughs> explain the Krylon TV paint stick and um in gray I forgot the number um uh yes yeah, so I I did like a line of that paint stick blended out the edges then added see through my see through my eyes yeah I was right see through my eyes on the edges in the middle breakfast at Tiffany's but before I put breakfast at Tiffany's I set that with uh the Ben Nye super white then added breakfast at Tiffany's on top so I could have a brighter color. It's the same kind of thing I did with um, Amanda. And she glows well. The red was the prime red from the EBA performance thing. By the way, and I splotch it over, you know, some of the cracks and it kind of looks even more bloody. I don't know how that worked. I don't know how that worked out. I mean, you can't see the background because I put the I put something there later or I was gonna show in pictures either way because you know you know freaking Amanda is the best <laughs> um, so yeah oh god she looks so good I put some red over it to be more splotchy and more bloody I didn't put it beforehand because I didn't know what I was gonna do um, you know so I didn't want to like like what if I change my mind? What if I wanted my whole arm to be glowy and then I just use the red for like blood everywhere else? So I didn't want to like oh here I'm doing it here. So I didn't want to add blood on Amanda before <laughs> doing, doing anything else. I just wanted her to be plain. I should have did a shot of her. I was thinking of that, but after 14 hours, I was like whoop. Mm -mm. <laughs> you can see you can see Amanda very well here. Stormy cloud for armor white for all the highlights deep black for all the low like slow shadows you know lining and everything pale dead for the body prime black for the bendy bits and to outline prime red for my arms and amanda and for the blood um guadalupe for the armor putting over most of the armor <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> um Gimme Space used a ton for shading. Tilted Almond used to shade out that and to shade out my wrinkles. Breakfast at Tiffany's for the highs. 
well the highlights and the glow green haze for the body and the highlights of my face see through my eyes for the glow definitely the glow the TV paint stick sorry the Krylon TV paint stick 32B gray for highlights most highlights I thought I would use it on my armor but I I I had no reason to at all. Sugar pill pretty poison definitely in zero, which is which is black and shading out everywhere. I didn't even have to use it for my cheekbones. I thought I had to use it for my cheekbones. And sugar pill and lumi for the eyes and the highlights of my face. Finally I get to put on the crown and be done with this. Um fun fact, I did color all under my boobs with the bendy color which is my prime black and it still didn't work so I guess there's no way I could put anything under my boobs it's just would we'll just wipe it off it will just wipe it off I, I I never did um makeup without without uh without with just pasties on so that's something I experienced I even re-added and it was like no I did on the side as well it was like no I, I just don't want to I, I just want to I just want to breathe, like, leave me alone. So, if I ever do body paints again, there's no way I could lift my arms up. Or I do that lifting boob tape thing, but I don't know how to... How? How? <laughs> how? I, if, if only I got... I, mm. Either way, I think it came out fine. Um, I did these beady bits because that's what's in her character. As well, she also has some kind of crown that goes over and down. I did that with the hair. I didn't know if I should show the ears to show that it's a mask because it, she didn't have really have her hair back. She did have something that was laying down straight. So I, I don't know. I did either or, <laughs> whichever. I used NYX mascara, which was a green. Um, it came out fine because I wanted white, but this is like the brightest mascara I have so I put that on and I put some lens on and I had to keep changing it because it wasn't working because there's a freaking eyelash in my eye but it worked out for my photos well, I'm here I'm showing like, the bodysuit I think finally and my dog trying to lick off everything I have hold on look at my pants I wrap myself with them um, some fabric so it looked like that flowy kind of dressy thing she has on. It looked like I added a bunch of blood rust on my skin. It doesn't even look like my skin is showing under. It just looks like I put more blood on my skin. There's Amanda! There's Amanda! <laughs> she looks so good! I couldn't see. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I, I, I was just... I was just hit I was just done. I just wanted to get the pictures done. <laughs> but, oh, Amanda. Amanda looks nice. I love Amanda so much. <laughs> I love her so much. Uh, I didn't even notice how close I was to the camera and it wasn't even in focus, whatever. Oh, I put some of the veins behind my ears and everything too and I blended too. I didn't forget about back there. Don't worry. I didn't forget. In case it was showing, I made sure I had it in frame. And now you can finally see the headpiece. Everything I used on my body is makeup other than the hair. <laughs> I made sure that I didn't want to use paint or anything. I wanted it all to be matching. I want it all to be the same tone. <sighs> okay, so yeah. It's done. Maybe I did better way explaining what my voice said then. Okay, so thank you for watching. I didn't even do a good- I didn't even say bye. Whatever. Okay. Alright. So, bye. Oh my god, 14 hours, dude.